Welcome to the Jesse on a Journey Bundi India Hotel. We welcome you to India and our property. So, we just have um, a quick check in process and a few gifts for you. And you'll get a little tour of the room. And um, we'll go over your itinerary since I know you booked a few activities. So, um, I've kept a few fans on, not only to um, keep you cool in this heat, but also um, one thing maybe you've noticed about India already is that there is always honking, so uh, just trying to block that out a bit. Unfortunately, there's no escaping it, but uh, Bundi is a, a quiet town for the most part. Uh, you'll notice here um, it's much more laid back than you'll find on some of your other stops. We still have the honking, but uh, definitely a slower pace. Um, people here are very friendly, very smiley, uh, very excited to meet you and learn your story. And um, there's a lot of great attractions here. Funny enough, um, it's not quite a tourist destination as we of course believe it should be, but we're getting there. Uh, we now have a highway that comes here, so uh, makes it a lot easier than what it used to be. Um, you know, from Jaipur, it used to take seven hours to get here, and now, uh, as you saw, it's um, just about two, two hours. So let's get you checked in and get your experiences all set up and uh, go from there. Okay. So, let me just find your reservation. Okay. Okay, right here. So, can um, you tell me your full name with middle initial? Okay. Best contact number, preferably one that you will have here. Do you have a phone? Actually, I can help you out with that. So for now, why don't you just give me your home number and we can sort, sort that out, okay? And best address. Okay, perfect. Birth date. And do you have any dietary restrictions? We do have some excellent food here, so no dietary restrictions. So that'll be great. Um, and how did you hear about us? Of course. Um, perfect. So, um, yeah, I know you had said you wanted a phone while you're here, and actually, SIM card. So what we will need to do is, um, in India it is a bit of a process to get the SIM card. Well, I can give it to you, but um, basically uh, you have to give me your passport. I'm going to make a copy. You're going to fill out a quick form and I'm going to have to take a passport photo. So once we do that, uh, you'll pay me for uh, the amount that you want, the amount of data and minutes, and then you'll wait about 12 hours. And you'll notice that you start to have signal on the phone. So then you'll call a number that I'll write in the, uh, in the SIM card, and um, call that number, and you will um, do the prompts. You'll wait about four hours and your data will come. So, it's just measures to keep everyone safe from all the stuff that's going on in the world right now. So, let me, uh, if you want to just uh, stand back a bit. Actually, have a great app on this little camera right here. So, let's pull it up. So, uh, don't smile, just make a nice little serious face. Okay. 
Okay, take another one just like Great. And you have your passport. Perfect. So let me just make a copy here and enter in some details. Perfect. How much data did you want to put on? Okay. So that will actually be 500 rupees. Um, do you want me to charge it to the room? Okay, perfect. So if I can just have a credit card for incidentals. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. So, let's see if it's written here. And find out your phone number is in here and the numbers that you will need to call um, the prompts. So, before we get into your itinerary, let me just uh, give you a few little gifts. So, as you may have heard, the, um, you know, India is a beautiful place, but you may um, find yourself with some upset stomach. So to help avoid that, we give all of our guests probiotics. So um, these are 10 billion CFUs, and it comes with 60 gel caps. You should take one per day with food. And um, how it works is, is um, the laboratory testing has showed that it releases the nutrient within 45 minutes. So it's very natural. Um, sunflower oil, glycerin, yellow beeswax, and uh, so just, it looks like this little pill doesn't taste bad. Is mine, so I'll give you for sure. I'm gonna also give you some tissues. Um, with some strips. Um, one tip for India is that certain cities, not really in Bundi, but say when you get to Delhi, uh, it is very polluted. So, you will likely be coughing up some stuff, sneezing. And we will also supply you, of course, with plenty of fresh water. All water is included in your stay. We recommend that you stay very hydrated. Um, it's very easy to become dehydrated in India. So, we also wanted to give you an actual little gift. Um, so this is actually from Varanasi, which you'll go to on your third stop. Varanasi is known for silk. Um, and you'll find lots of beautiful scarves there. India and not as a whole has so many beautiful prints, um, garments, colorful garments in um, the state of Rajasthan. You've got an especially large array of colors um, and beautiful jewelry. It gets toned down a bit as you get, um, you know, Varanasi and Delhi, but they have their own special things. So let's, uh, let's go over your itinerary and then I'm gonna show you the room. We're going to be doing um, a very kind of laid-back style tour. Um, I know the guy personally. He uh, likes to take his time, make sure you have plenty of time to relax. It'll be very necessary. The thing about India is, you know, 
there's a lot of places that you can go to experience something new and different, but India, for first timers, I believe you said you hadn't been before, um, it's a lot. It's chaos all the time, it's things not going your way all the time, and you just kind of have to realize that um, you'll be discovering so many things, so many traditions, eating amazing food, but it's not, uh, it's not always going to go your way. You'll see a tractor driving on the wrong side of the road, um, the bathrooms don't have toilet paper, your waiter will get your order wrong. Um, just sit back and relax and enjoy the adventure. Um, so, starting in Boondi. So, starting tomorrow, you're going to have a morning drive and um, just kind of around the village. Uh, and that drive will be in a tuk-tuk, it's a small village. And uh, it'll take you around the historic old city, which is very wonderful to look at, great views, bring your camera, uh, lots to see. So um, I also saw that tonight you wanted to have a private dinner on the rooftop, right? Let me just get that situated for you. And let's look at the reservation book here. Okay. So no allergies. Um, let's see where we can put you and the best time. So Looks like there are some tables available at sunset. Um, okay. Would um, a 5:30 seating be okay? Okay. Perfect. So, um, have a great table with a great view for you. And uh, I'm going to make a special little note. Uh, we actually serve alcohol here. That's something you won't find in a lot of places. Do you like champagne? Okay. So I've got your table booked. Now, let's talk menu. Um, this will help us uh, just in case there's anything that needs to be slow cooked so we have the um let's see what's on the menu okay. so we've got the biryani which is this aromatic rice dish um you can get it um, with chicken in it um with uh, mutton and it's got a nice saffron flavor our specialty. So, also on the menu for tonight, we've got alu gubi. It's um, a cauliflower with potatoes that is um, sauteed with a masala sauce, and you'll have some curry leaves. We've got the butter chicken, which everyone loves. It's chicken. Um, it's made in a butter grain sauce. It's very good. We've got a chana masala, which um, chana is chickpeas, chicken tikka masala. Um, we've got a dal puri, which we've got a stuffed dal in parathas, which is a kind of fried bread. What you're hearing is actually pigeons. Our other specialty for tonight will be, that was last night's menu. Sounds good. Um, we've got a um, kofta, which is flour balls, fried um, vegetables, um, cooked with a curry sauce. Let me try that. We do have tandoori chicken, yes. Those are the specials that we did. Chicken. Do you want the full or the half? And I recommend getting that with some rice. Perfect. Okay, you're all set. 
Um, did you want to book a um, massage for the morning? I had heard that as well. So we actually have a special. Um, we have a massage a facial combo for uh, only 400 rupees. And we use all natural local ingredients as well as some Indian spices in the massage. Couples in And um, any skin irritations, any medical issues we should know about? Did you want to add on, um, we do a champagne bath at the end if you want it. It would only be a hundred rupees to fill. This is a special right now. Okay. So. Female or male masseuse. does at uh, 10.30 a.m. you can have breakfast on the rooftop and then go down for the massage. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So. We'll do that and then we'll do the drag. So. Um. The two main attractions here are the um, Bundi Palace and the Bundi Fort. Historic places, great architecture, a um, little bit of hiking, so you'll get some uh, activity in. Perfect. Um, great. Uh, so then you're going to be going to Jaipur, which you saw at the airport, but uh, there's a great attraction around there called the Avenari Stepwell. I don't want to give too much away, but it's in this tiny little town that you would never expect this amazing kind of excavation to have been unfolded. So, um, but um, we also have a great dinner planned for you. There is a rooftop restaurant called The Peacock, uh, so you'll have dinner and drinks up there in Agra next night. You'll have the Taj Mahal, of course. Um, next stop will be Varanasi, and this is a very special place. As I said, we're known for the silk, so of course shopping, but um, there's also a lot of history. It's one of the world's oldest continuously inhabited cities, and um, you're right on the Ganges River, or the Ganga, and People, um, Hindu pilgrims actually go there to jump in the river and wash away their sins and also burn um, their dead to sprinkle their ashes in the river, which does sound funny to Westerners, but um, it's tradition and you'll be able to see it if that's something you're interested in. You'll have a walking tour there through the old city. Um, you'll see... Um, we got a, uh, a sunrise boat cruise on the Ganges for you. Definitely bring your camera. Uh, you'll be able to see the evening puja ceremony, which is um, kind of a, a ceremony to certain gods and also fire. Uh, they worship the fire that they bring their dead with. So um, there you'll visit all the ghats. These are stairs leading from kind of the walkway down to the Ganges, many with uh, temples behind them and old palaces. It's sort of um, a historic, beautiful city that's rough around the edges, but it's a very interesting place to visit. Um, we've got a uh, centaur concert lined up for you, too, so you can see some traditional music and dancing, which is always uh, interesting. And um, yeah, some nice meals. And then um, we've got your tickets already kind of booked. You will fly um, on Indigo, small plane, to Delhi. There's a great market there where you can have um, pranthas in this historic shop that does them stuffed with carrots and okra and lentils and potato and all kinds of stuff. 
and it'll also be Akshardham Temple. It's one of the largest Hindu temples in the world, and the largest in India, and uh, very detailed, lots of ornate little details that are great. And uh, yeah, so that'll be awesome. And you'll go to a Sikh temple as well and hear some music. I hope that that sounds okay with you. Great. So I'm going to give you all this paperwork and uh, I've got some kind of general orientation stuff and um, safety notes, nothing too crazy. Uh, how to deal with some of the issues I, I said about congestion. And, um, you know, don't be shy to interact with locals, you know, they might be curious about you, you might see people staring, they just want to know about you. Um, for um, you as the lady traveler here, one of the reasons we get this scarf is that it's nice, um, you should always have your shoulders and knees covered, but sometimes you'll need to cover up a little bit more and it's good to have this garment. Okay, so, just grab some water. Um, you know, India is a pretty safe place. Um, use common sense, don't be having a ton of money out. Don't, you know, go walking in dark places alone at night. That's just common sense. But if you use your common sense, you'll likely have a great time. So, uh, let me give you a little tour of your room. You're gonna be in uh, room 10 here. The lock works like this. This is how you lock your door. Or to do, there we go. Put the, the key in and twist, and it will pop right out. So, we'll take that. All right, let's show you around. So, here is our first uh, stop. This will be your room. Uh, two beds, um, but we can attach them together. If you'd rather have a large bed um, for the two of you and as I said we do provide water and there is coffee so the beds are very comfortable um, just show you how soft it is These were handmade by local artisans. And like I said, we've got water included. Just had to uh, remove. remove the paper and um, yeah that glass is actually handmade by artisans local artisans we try to do that as much as possible um, as is their glass here so Now we do have AC, which maybe you hear a bit in the background. And a uh, little welcome area where I've already laid some of your stuff here. I've got some great little pieces of artwork. And now the bathroom. It's very big. You can see it's been sanitized. And I want to 
wanted to just show you the homemade bath products. So we've got some um, very special bath products that are handmade by local artisans. So. This is um, our shower gel. It's actually made with real lemon. It's natural. Next, we've got a moisturizer. Now, uh, you'll find a lot of rose here, so. Uh, it's all natural, made with rose. Very soothing to the skin. And uh, this is just a shampoo. And it's made with local goat's milk. And some soaps. A shower cap and then a nice little um, handmade soap. It's made from lemon and grapefruit. Biodegradable packaging as well. One problem in India is there is some issues with litter and we are trying to help clean that up. So, well, I hope that you have enjoyed your little tour of our property and that you will enjoy your stay in India.